you guys, the I-80 is closed. I guess there's a really short section of it where there's like really bad weather and there's been a bunch of huge crashes with semi trucks. We were hoping to make it all the way home, but we are now stopped in Wyoming. But we are now stopped in Wyoming. <laughs> but we are now stopped. <laughs> I'm trying to tell them that we're stopped in Wyoming. Yeah. This is serious. No laughing at all. But we are now stopped in... Hey! Stop the laughing! So we're going to stay in a hotel in Wyoming. The winter weather advisory keeps going until tomorrow night. So the road may or may not open tomorrow. But it looks like this is a much better place than Tucumcari, New Mexico. No offense to those of you who are watching who are from Tucumcari. Well, we're going out to pick up some milk for this little girl. And we're gonna get some pizza for this little girl. <gasps> and some breadsticks I'll share with the whole family. Yeah. So I'm not normally much of a conspiracy theorist, but I'm starting to wonder if states like Wyoming and New Mexico have found that when they close their highways, their states make a lot more money. And so I kind of want to go back and research how many times the roads were closed back in like the 80s and the 90s compared to now and see if there's been a dramatic increase. If so, my theory might be correct. So in the elevator, Laura pushed the emergency call button. And it actually like contacted someone. And we had to explain to them how we accidentally pushed the emergency call button. They put those really low. Yeah, those should be a little bit higher. Yeah. Hey, where's the key? Uh, you had it? Uh, no, you had it. Uh-oh. Let the record show. Jeremy had it. <laughs> no, my heart! Hey, I don't care who had it. None of us had it. That's true. I'm just glad we're getting in. Maybe. Is anybody in here? Why do I have a remote control? <laughs> Why do you have a remote control? Did you bring that? <laughs> or somebody else brought it. We stole the remote control from the lobby. I think I'll head back downstairs now. Maybe push the emergency call on the elevator on the way down. So they didn't have the Disney Channel here. So we're watching some of our old vlogs. This was our yoga challenge, kids yoga challenge. I didn't need it help. <laughs> down to breakfast and the roads are open. I'm so excited. Let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. What are you looking forward to at home? To snuggle my teddy bear and um, sleep in my own new bed. Yes, it'll be so nice. And be nice. in my ballet class. Yes. Oh, it's going to be so fun to be home. I'm excited to go play with my Christmas toys because I've only gotten to um, Play my Christmas toys one day. It's so true. So we left the morning after Christmas. December 26th is the day that we left on this road trip. And so we are just so excited to get home. And, and I'm what? excited to be um, to turn six at my at home and oh, you have a birthday. My cousin. Yes. <laughs> you guys ready to go? Yeah. And I might have a loose tooth. Whoa! Big news. Big news. We'll because I'm all six. Maybe you bit on the apple. Only 13 hours more to drive. We can do it. Does can that do not it. include stops? Does not include stops. Only 20 hours more to go. <laughs> all right. Well, we're on the road. Caleb's playing with tape. Isaac and Elise are sketching. And Laura, what are you 
you up to? Milk. And Jeremy and I are enjoying a rare, quiet moment to talk. It's actually really nice. I wonder how long it will last. So all over Wyoming, we see these like fences kind of set up everywhere, but they're not fences. We think they're for maybe snow drifts or something, but if you know what these are for in Wyoming, please let us know. We would really appreciate that. So you can see there's a snow drift after each of these. How does that happen? How does this work? Maybe because of the small slots created by the fence structure, there's faster wind blowing through the fence than in other parts. It creates like a fence vortex? Yes, and then <laughs> that causes more of the blowing snow to funnel through the faster wind, making a forced snow drift behind there rather than on the road. It's a theory. I don't have a theory. What do you guys think? How do those fences work to make those snow drifts? Why do you think they have those fences? Because dogs ran out of people's families and they tried to jump over the big ones and they can't. What does that have to do with snow drifts? I don't know. We're feeling really, really grateful that we did not go through this last night. That would have been treacherously dangerous. So I guess the state of Wyoming knows what they're doing and it's not a conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> they came out here and put the ice on the road to make more money. <laughs> wow, this is no joke. This is serious. Have you driven in worse than this? Yeah. So I think the worst part here is the wind. Because yeah. the wind is what's creating the lack of visibility with the snow. Boy. I am so grateful for those snow drift fences. I don't even fully understand what they do, but I get if, if that's that this would do. be way worse. We're still guessing. If, <laughs> if it wasn't for, oh, there's somebody slid way off the road over there. They are way off the road. Oh, drive safe, babe. I really want to go home fast. How do you suggest we go home faster? Playing on a plane. Oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> Isaac just found Jeremy's sunglasses and then the truth got out. I was like, Jeremy, here's your glasses. He's like, actually, I like yours better. <laughs> Dang, hiding my glasses in the back didn't work. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so his lens are scratched from Laura took something them in with like, Laura. Scrape them against a bunch of rocks. Let's be honest, you just like the bedazzling. They make me feel special. <sighs> Well, we've been through a lot on this trip, and I think I'm finally starting to lose my mind. So Jeremy is being nice enough to switch me so I can start driving. It is the harder job to sit in this seat. Thank you, babe. Yeah, the kids all want different things at different times, and trying to drive when you're looking back and trying to help them out, it gets nauseating and annoying. <laughs> Bring it up. No, my turn. No, my turn. No, my turn. No, my Oh, you want it to be your turn? Yes. What do you want to have a turn with? Um, my turn. Or are you ready to get out? Yes. Yes. I. Where do you want to go? Um, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut? <laughs> pizza Hut. <laughs> um, I'm excited. You're excited? Why are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> but why are you excited? Um, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A right excited. here. You're excited? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, if one of you would be willing to let us know, based on our vlogs, how many times we've gone to Chick-fil-A during this trip, I would love to know. How many times? Jeremy, how many times do you think we've been to Chick-fil-A? Probably six times or seven. It's been a lot. It's been crazy. crazy. I think we've hit a Chick-fil-A in every state. <laughs> All right, we just did our final gas up. We have three more hours to go to finish this thing off. We got it. And then we'll be home. We can do this. Let's go team. No, we can't do Let's this. Go. Why no. not? Because we're in Wyoming. Oh, we're in Nebraska. No, we're not. Huh? Yeah, we're in Nebraska and then we'll go through Iowa for a little bit and we're then we'll be... We're gonna do it while we're eating um, salt work packets. 
saltwater taffy. Those are yummy. We introduced the kids to saltwater taffy. They like it. All right, we made it to Kansas City. I dropped Kendra off at the store. She's getting milk and bread and things that we're gonna need for tomorrow. All the kids are asleep, so I'm just like driving around the parking lot in circles to keep them asleep. We're almost home. It feels so good to be home. It feels so good. The kids, like I got Laura out of the van and she kind of woke up a little bit and she looks around and she goes, home? Like she was all confused, it was adorable. <laughs> so I think the kids all crashed happily in their beds. Yeah, and now we're gonna do the same. Jay has out. Good night. Time to throw the bouquet. Lisi totally wants in on this. Are you okay, Lise? 